36 years of basketball knowledge and life skills. Your host, Coach Goins, focuses on today's topics on and off the court, helping players and coaches achieve their goals. So get ready for another fast break episode of Basketball More Than a Game with your host, Coach Goins. Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another fast break episode of Basketball More in the Game. And I'm your host, Coach Goins. Listen, we've got it packed out and great stuff. We're going to be coming at you today. But before we get into all that, we got to make sure that we are paying the bills. So let's thank our title sponsor. And that's none other than Mr. Curtis Jackson, your independent insurance agent out of the great state of North Carolina and also serving Southern Virginia. So please reach out and let Curtis know that you heard this advertisement on Basketball More in the Game. You can reach him at area code 9 919- one nine six one four five seven nine six again area code nine one nine six one four five seven nine six and when you do talk to him let him know that you heard him and you appreciate him and his staff for his continued support of basketball more in the game listen you can also check us out on itunes spotify my youtube channel you can go to facebook and you can go to lionfish entertainment out of los angeles california you know so we're just you know saturating airways we're in 21 foreign countries we just went into turkey about two weeks ago where Downloads are really happening great in Russia. Uh, Sweden is really leading the pack with over 36 followers coming out of Sweden and just downloading the shows. So listen, we still got a couple states to hit in uh, the United States. We've got uh, Montana as all as well as South Dakota and uh, and New Hampshire. So if you know anybody in those three states, please tell them to to log on, check us out. Uh, and they won't be disappointed. So listen, I hope everybody's having a great summer and, and off and running those that are on vacation, still checking us out. And anybody that you know takes time out and listen to the show, we want to definitely give you a shout out. And thank you for your continued support because it's not about Coach Goins and it's not about our guests. It's making sure that everything that we line up, we want to make sure that we give back and be able to take care of our listening audience. And just to give you you know some insight and you know, hope, you know, hopefully you know just to bring you a little joy you know, throughout the day, not just you know from a basketball perspective, but just life in general. So, hey, listen, we've got a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and get in the thick of things. So, you know what, this, uh, you know, a couple uh, couple of days ago was Father's Day. So we want to stop and, you know, give a shout out to all the dads that are actually fathers and really taking care of business. Had a great opportunity uh, to travel to North Carolina uh, and take part in the uh, unveiling of Coach Jeff Capel, uh, Jr., uh, portrait at his alma mater, Fayetteville State University. It was so great to see his lovely wife, Jerry, his son, uh, Jeff, and as well as his younger son, Jason, in attendance. Uh, to, number one, celebrating uh, his life, his legacy, and also want to give a shout out to the chancellor at Fayetteville State, you know, for him, you know, him bringing this up and having that great idea and then following through with that, you know, because a lot of times, you know, talk is cheap and, but again, not saying that, you know, he doesn't follow through, but it was just a great, great uh, way to tribute, you know, so you look on one side of the, the arena, which is named after his father, which is Felton J. Capel Sr. And then this is going to be Felton, you know, uh, Felton Jeffrey Capel uh, Jr. It's going to be so his father and son on my one my one side of the wall uh, and then the other side. So you know, you know it, it is just a dual you know dual a tandem a father and son, but a great great contribution, great great thing to be able to see. You know, especially on the weekend of Father's Day. And again, the guys were in. When I say guys, you know, Coach Jeff Capel, his head coach at the University of Pittsburgh, and assistant coach Jason Capel, their families were there. And so, what a great great honor, a great way way to you know to to, to actually. You know, spend some time with those guys, and you know, and kind of you know, you know, hear what they say. You know, and again, as you know, as their dad, you know, some of you for us as our coach. Uh, but as Jeff said in the article, the tree, there's nothing. You know, everybody's going to mingle, and everybody's going to get together. Uh, but it was just his dad, you know. To get, and the big thing there, uh, just want again another shout out to the university for just doing a fantastic job, uh, the portrait and everything that went along. So you know what what a great tribute on Father's Day. Listen, also had a great uh, time to be able to spend uh, with one of my former teammates, and that's uh, head coach of Fayetteville State University, Mr. Ken Spencer. Uh, just doing a dynamic job there for the university. He played for Coach Capel, uh, went to the University of North Carolina at Pembroke on a basketball scholarship now, uh, had a great high school coaching career. Now he's the uh, head coach at Fayetteville State University. So think about that. You know, we're there in, in honor of Coach Capel, but also when one of his former players were there, not only just a former player, but now, you know, coaching uh, right in the footsteps where uh, Coach Capel was, and that's uh, head coach Mr. Ken Spencer. So a great, great time to to see him. And as we dialogue and just talked about, you know, some of the old teams at Pinecrest, you know, we talked about his team when he was a senior, which, you know, consisted of uh, himself, uh, Antonio, you know, Mule Doctor, 
Uh, and then you look at the you know, the, uh, the front line of uh, Sammy Brower and also, you know, Sherman Pride. You know, what a great, great, and all, you know, all five of those you know, gentlemen uh, went on for, um, and had a basketball scholarship. You know, so we talked about that and we, you know, talked about some of the things that Coach would do on the sideline and how he would motion. You know, I did, I'd ask Ken, uh, actually Coach Spence, I said, you know, what does this symbolize? And it was, a, and I was pointing my fingers, uh, pointing my thumb down, and it was a play that was, you know, was called, of course, you know, thumb, you know, thumbs down. Uh, and what we were talking about, you know, coach was always, you know, real cool. And he, he had a bracelet and, you know, he dropped his thumb down like that. And I, and I, and as a young man, it was very impressionable, you know, so, and, and that really stuck with me. So to this day, I wear a bracelet on my right hand. And then when you're coaching and then there's certain things that you do, I would just think back uh, on, uh, on the legacy that he built with each and every one of us. But again, you know, this is Father's Day, you know, tribute. And we just want to give a shout out to all of the dads, you know, the coaches and, you know, and again, not just the coaches because you're coaching your son, the coaches that, you know, are coaching that don't have kids in the program and all along the way. I'm not going to get in to start calling names because I will, you know, I will miss somebody and it's not about a slight and it's not about, you know, just calling out, you know, a, a certain individual. But we just want to, you know, thank you for what you do as a father. Thank you for being a provider. Thank you for, you know, providing it you know, shelter and the guidance uh, along the way. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, as we go through life, you know, we don't realize that, you know, we all have different struggles. We all all have different, you know, areas that we can always improve on. And there's nothing like having somebody that you can go to when you have something on your heart. Uh, and it's nothing like a dad. And having that relationship, you know, I lost my father uh, when I was 23, unfortunately, to suicide. Uh, but in that, you know, I still love my dad. I, you know, I appreciate everything that he got done. But there's a lot of things in my life you know, that I went on to be able to accomplish uh, you know, that I'm not able to share with him. Uh, but then through that, what I try to do is make sure my son understands, make sure my, my son knows that I'm here for him. Uh, and, and through no matter what the situation, no matter your darkest day, you know, you've always got somebody that you can look up to. And I don't definitely want to be able to to give a shout out to my pastor, who's, you know, my spiritual father. But you know, I look at him more than that. You know, it's, it's somebody that I can confide in. You know, some of, you know, some of my very, very good friends, you know, outstanding fathers. And then that's what we have to do as a man. You, you know, it's, you know, one, here's the thing. You know, it's tough being a man, but somebody's got to be a man. And what you've got to be able to do is have that person that's close to you that you'll be able to sit down and, and have that dialogue with when you, you know, when you're faced with those, you know, because everybody, here's the thing, you know, um, you know, I heard this probably about four or five years ago, you know, there's three places you need dealing with a storm here in the middle of one just coming out of one, coming out of a storm and get ready to go in one. So let me repeat that. You're either in the storm, get ready to, uh, you just came out of a storm or you're getting ready to enter a storm. And in that process, what, you know, you've got to have somebody that you can find in somebody that you know that when you go and you peel back the onion and you expose yourself and you step out from behind the veil, and you really let that person in that they, they understand they're not going to be the one, you know, jumping on social media and saying, Hey, this is what I found out about brother, whatever. No, you bet you have to have somebody that you can find in, you'll peel back and say, Hey, this is what I'm dealing with. And this is what I want to work through. And, and they're out there. So my challenge to you is if it's coaches, uh, if it's players that you're going through some things, you know, you, you leverage your partners and you find that, that true person that you'd be able to, you know, you know, Hey, I need to talk and you sit down and you, and you had that heart to heart conversation because it, that's what it's about. It's all about, you know, iron sharpening iron and being there for one another. So, you know, we just want to you know continue to celebrate our dads and our fathers on Father's Day weekend. And this show is dedicated uh, to uh, Coach Jeff Capel for everything that he did in my life. And just wanted you know, again, just lift up. And just, it, it's just, it was just a great, great weekend uh, when they dropped the um, – I'm, I'm going to call it the curtain or drop the, the cover that was on the, on the portrait. You know, you know, I was just like, wow, there he is. That's, that's, you know, that's what I want to remember coach as, you know, it was very tough, you know, watching him as he went through the battle of ALS and just appreciate everything. These guys, he, what his family is doing and, and the fundraising as they, you know, they try to stamp out that, you know, dreadful disease, but it was so great to see that portrait of coach because you know what, that was him. Uh, and I, you know, and my mind just runs back, and as you know, I can hear him stand on the sidelines barking out different plays. But you know, most importantly, it's just it was those one-on-one times. You know, we'd be in the car, and he'd be just, you know, and I was a, I was a young man, I was a freshman. Uh, you know, he would say, you know, hey, you know, what about this? What about this? Are you thinking about this? You know, you really need to go to school. This is what you need to do. This is how you need to process this. You know, what, you know, what about girls? You know, having that, you know, conversation, you know, about young ladies in there in your life. You know, because, you know, at one point, you know, you're like, ah, girls. And then all of a sudden you get to high school and you're like, wow, man, you know what? You know, girls are pretty sweet and girls are pretty fine. And and he was always there. So as we continue to layer down, you know, as we go through life, and as I said before, you know, you got to have those people that are always going to be there. And this is what, you know, 
coach meant to me. So not just coach, you know, all you guys that are out there listening and continue to support basketball more in the game. It's so important that you uh, believe in Coach Goins and you you stand and you know what. And and here's the cool thing about it: when I'm out and about and people see me and they say, "Hey, man, I listen to this," or you know, I get a text message or I get an email or you know, different people you know to listen to across the United States and it's also internationally. I just want to thank everybody, and I know there's dads listening, I know there's moms listening, and I know there's players listening and coaches listening. But we're doing this all because, you know what, it's something that we have a passion about. It's something that we love to do. It's all about giving back and making sure that everybody has everything that they can possibly have. And it's just, you know, a conversation, and we're just sitting around the mic. So, listen, we're going to take about a 30-second break, and we will be right back. Hey, folks, Coach Goins is back. And, again, we just want to make sure that you're able to check us out and like us and to follow us. And you can leave a comment on iTunes as well as Stitcher, Podbean, uh, Spotify, uh, Facebook, Lionfish Entertainment at Los Angeles, California. You can also check me out on my website at uh, www.coachgoins.podbean.com. Uh, and again, that's just a great way to continue to follow us. And we want to thank our uh, our sp- uh, sponsor for this segment, and that is Ax Sports. So for you, actually, you know, I, I just got back in from track practice. You say what, Coach? Track practice? That's what I said myself. But you know what? It's all good. Uh, it's about going now. It's giving back, and it's just making sure that everything is running the way it needs to be running. We want to thank uh, Coach Victor Bullet and all the coaches that was out, Coach Ernest, as well as you know Coach Dwight, just being there. And just you know what? It, 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 it's it's all about what? It's about giving back. It's about making sure that the youth of the, of um, today uh, will be able to be formed to be leaders for tomorrow. So, you know, it's just a great experience. It was a great afternoon to be out. Had a little bit of rain, and the rain moved on. But, you know, again, uh, if, you wanna, if, you, if you're interested and you're in the Augusta County surrounding area and you want to be able to plug your uh, child in for a great uh, sports program, Again, it's just not totally sports oriented. You know, we you know really focus in on the whole being of the individual, really focus in on the things that you know the young kids need today, and that's you know leadership skills, that be able to communication. So that's um, Act Sports, and you can go to their website at www.playactsports.com for your recreational sports needs in Augusta and surrounding counties. Again www.playactsports.com and you'll be able to see all of the listing of the um, sports that are offered. Some of them are closed because it's not in season and some of them have just closed. It's like wrestling closed and also track. So, you know, it'll be upcoming and they'll be updating. So you have that information. So please, if you do register and you do go to event, you know, let them know that you heard uh, information on Coach Goins' podcast. And then certainly, certainly appreciate what the directors, Vincent and Candace Banks, tireless, tireless effort. The amount of time that they put in and drive this process uh, is no small task. So, listen, we're going to go ahead and jump on back and keep on talking about this great day. You know, fathers, you know, a lot of times, you know what, you know, anybody can be a father, but it takes a person, special person to be a dad. You know, and as you look at these things, you know, you say, you know what, you know, why would somebody want to be able to get out? and really invest because you know what that's what it's about because we all have you know situations we all have you know ups and downs but when you're able to go out and you're able to to find that young person you're able to invest in that young person you don't ever know what that's going to look like you know coming down the road and what I mean by that is when you be able to go out and say you know you have the title coach and you roll in and you work with that individual and that you know person you know progresses and you know plays for a couple years and you maybe only plays for a year but when you go back and you may be walking at Walmart, you may be at Chick Fil A, whatever, and all of a sudden, somebody, somebody, you know, somebody hollers, out, "Hey, Coach Goins," and you turn around, and of course, now, now they're now they're a young man, or guess what? I've you know, I've coached players now that they, they have families, and you go up and they introduce and introduce you to their wife and introduce you, you know, to their kids. You know, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing honorable or more honorable than than having a title coach because you know it's about developing. It's about pouring into the individuals. Now everybody's not going to be a superstar, so you have to meet that. You have to meet your player where that player is. You know how do you handle the superstars? How do you handle the role players? And how do you handle the kids that are on the team that really, you know what, just really kind of balances the team out? Because you have to have some of those on the team. Sometimes you just have to have a good kid on your team. But in that, you you know, how do you deal and you go up and down the sliding scale uh, and really make everybody feel a part about? It? feel a part of you know being on the team is something special it's nothing that you know that we take for granted but the main thing is you know what it's all about you know what taking time out respecting those individual players respecting that game and then teaching the game having that passion understand that you know what what must I do in order to get these individuals ready what must I do 
in order to get these individuals ready for life? What must I do to get these individuals ready when when the cheering stops? Because you know what, sports are sports, and sports will end. But how do you and how do you set yourself up for the next level? You know, you look at a person like Michael Strahan who played, you know, had all you know, was all pro Hall of Famer. But look how Michael trans, you know, transitioned, transferred. Uh, and was able to, you know, really go to the next level. Now he's on Good Morning America. He hosts his own, you know, talk, uh, excuse me, his own game show, uh, you know, $100,000 pyramid. But, you know, that is somebody that you were able to to watch transform right in your eyes. You know, he went from on the gridiron and coming off the gridiron and, you know, it went right on into uh, his next level of, you know, being a professional, you know, off the field. And that's what, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, a lot of times people want to retire. I'm ready to retire. Okay. But you know what? You got a plan for that. And again, this is not a retirement show, but we just want to thank, you know, the dads that are out there that constantly, constantly, you know, pushes the envelope, making sure their young person is what doing all that they can do to be the best that they can be. And that's so important because you know what, as we go through life, it's not about what coach Goins says. It's about what it's about you taking what coach Goins has said and applying it. However you need to apply it. You know, sometimes it could be like Ward on the ducks back. You know, you may dial in and you may listen to an episode and go, man, you know, that, that was really good. Or you may listen to an episode and go, man, that can really, you know, that really can you know bless somebody else. So pass it on. I mean, that's what it's about. It's about us sitting down, you know, we're in the studio. We're talking about, you know, how to be a father, how to be a man, you know, you know what, just like I said earlier, you know, it's tough being a man, but somebody's got to do it. And in that entire process, none of us are smart as uh, all of us. So what we have to do is be able to be able to leverage that. So, if you know, if you got a guy that's over here that's dealing with some issues, hey, guess what? You know, hey, you know what? Let's check this out over here and, you know, tune this in, watch this show, you know, because that's what it's all about. Pick up that book. You know what? People say, I don't like to read. Well, you know what? You ain't got to, how do you, you know, read a couple of pages and then, you know, and then put your bookmark and then move on to the next day. But it's all about, you know what? It's all about moving forward. It's all about, you know, trying to be the person that you, you know, you're, you're placed on earth to be. And that's to make a difference, make a difference each and every day, make a difference and, and make somebody's make somebody's life what somebody likes better. And that's all about, you know what, your personal brand, because when you get out and you do those kind of things, your brand will do what stand alone. Cause when I call, when I holler Nike, I holler Chick-fil-A, you think about what, you know, you, you think about excellent, excellent customer service. You think about superior athletic apparel, you think about superior footwear. And those are the things that you have to be able to say, you know, what, what causes them to be able to do that is because they have a brand. So when somebody calls your name, you go, do you go, Oh my gosh, man, when that person, or when somebody calls your name, you go, man, that person is dynamic because they have created a brand. And that's one thing that you want to be able to do. You want to have your values. You want to create that brand. And when you have that brand, it's all about what you, your attitude is right. You're positive. You roll in, you, you can coachable, you, you're able to sit down, you're able to pay attention. You ask great questions, you know, what? and there's, and then there's still room enough in there to, to, you know, to have issues and to make mistakes. But in that, you know, you want to be able to fall forward because when you fall forward, you want to be able to understand that you can, you, you working towards something. If you fall back, was that because you you were lazy or because you weren't working hard? But when you fall forward, you at least you're able, you're, you're striding, you're moving forward and you're, and you're going out to a particular goal. So listen, as we start ra- wrapping this up again, we just want to thank everybody for your continued support. We want to thank all of our fathers for anything and any, anything that you've ever done for anybody in your life, you know, not just, you know, be assisting that, that, to have the birth of a child, but being able to, to stand there and, and work through those processes and work through those hard times to raise your kids for them to be whatever you would have them to be. And for the fathers that struggle and the fathers that's never done that, if there's opportunities to mend fences, there, if there's opportunities to go back and be that person that you need to be, pick up that phone, make that phone call, reach out uh, to your uh, child and say, Hey, you know what? I wasn't there and I want to be there and do the things that you need to do because there's nothing like asking for forgiveness and moving forward. But the main thing, we just want to spend a little time today recognizing our fathers, recognizing the people that has helped us along the way. I want to thank my dad. I want to thank all of my uncles. I want to thank my brothers. I just want to thank everybody that's ever said anything positive to Coach Goins along the way in my almost 52 years on the plan. I'm 51. I'll be 52 in November. But anybody that, along the way that's ever encouraged me, you know, to do the right thing. When sometimes I was doing the wrong thing, somebody, you know, pulled my coattail and made sure that I straightened up and flew right. So, again, we just want to thank everybody uh, for your continued support. And like I said, you can always check us out on iTunes, Spotify, 
uh, Facebook, as well as YouTube, my um, website, coachgoins.podbean.com. You know what? And leave a comment, like us, subscribe us, and keep this thing flowing because, you know, we are rocking and rolling. We're so excited about the destiny that this podcast has uh, started out. We started out small, and we're rocking and rolling. We're in 21 foreign countries, and we are trying to continue to, to hit the masses and get out. We'll be doing some special interviews and got some dynamic stuff lined up. People are going to be you know, either live in the studio or we'll be doing it uh, via telephones. Listen, until the next time, like we always say, you know what? Always give back. Always try to make a difference. And as it says, John 14 and 6, I am the way, the truth, and the light. I've got to get up out of here. I got to get this gym floor cleaned up, and we got to get ready to go. So until next time, this is Coach Goins, and I'll see you in the gym.